Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll have a look at the UK Met Office 5 day precipitation and temperature and then we'll run through the various mid to run long range models looking at the GFS, GM, ECWF and the ensembles as well. As, as we saw in yesterday's video it does look like there will be northern blocking returning over the next week or two and that will turn things a little bit more showery, a little bit more unsettled and perhaps a little bit cooler as well um, so if you're looking forward to sort of mid 20s low 20s like we have at the moment it doesn't look great it's not gonna be an absolute washout by any means but it does look like things will be a little bit more unsettled and there will be sort of showers around most days just remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the links in the description um, i hope everyone is having a great bank holiday um bank holiday friday uh, but it is a stunning day out there at the moment, as you can see by the live radar. Very little precipitation around with many areas under warm, high pressure. It's going to be the warmest day of the year. As I'm recording this, we haven't quite reached peak temperatures, but we're already seeing temperatures get up towards 20 degrees around lunchtime. And by sort of 2 to 4 p.m. this afternoon, it's very likely we see 21, 22 or maybe even 23 degrees in a few spots. But widely high teens, low 20s. Very, very warm out there with a lot of blue sky. Uh, for many yes a few patchy showers across northern scotland and northern ireland a band of heavier rain moving there but it is showery um, and it will only last a short period of time and most areas are going to be seeing plenty of warm sunshine out there and if you look at those temperatures as of 12.49 you can see many areas are in the yellows and oranges now which is getting up towards mid to high teens 16 17 18 degrees if not higher across the spine of england getting towards 20 plus degrees and we're going to be seeing that more widespread over the afternoon as those temperatures do rise so yeah very warm day today and we're going to see this continue over the next day or two especially the further eastwards you are but perhaps as we head towards early next week precipitation is going to be moving back in from the west with low pressure breaking it down as we see that return to northern blocking so we do have a look at the five day precipitation and temperature from the uk met office run now you can see at the moment as we see this afternoon very nice out there yes there could be some cumulus clouds building up over the course of the afternoon through central areas especially where we see that sunshine um not going to give too much lift towards showers but could give some lift to some uh isolated cloud as well you can see across parts of northern ireland a few showers and we're seeing that on the live radar at the moment but nothing too crazy elsewhere it should be pretty dry um and you, most areas will dodge those showers. Over the course of this evening, things are dry uh, as we head through to Saturday afternoon. Weather fronts approaching from the west, and it could give a little bit of a soggier day towards western parts of Ireland and Northern Ireland. Um, again, nothing crazy, but could be on and off light to moderate pulses of rain, and thicker cloud generally the further west which you go, but still further eastwards, looking really quite nice, and in the south as well. Could be very nice indeed. Through Saturday evening into early hours of Sunday, we see this weather front, it sort of strengthens with more moisture in getting introduced into it, and it does try to progress eastwards over the course of Easter Sunday, but for most areas, it's still dry, especially further eastwards you go. For most of England, Wales, and western, as well, eastern parts of Scotland, it is pretty decent. Just some thicker cloud perhaps coming in. But that weather front will progress through decaying as it does through Sunday evening, but bringing more cloud and some precipitation to most through early hours of Monday before we go into a more showery regime as we have lower pressure taking over. And you can see generally a few showers around. Again, as I said, not a massive washout, but there will be shower potential around for most and that continues. And through Tuesday, quite a heavy band of rain moving around the center of a little low pressure system. And that again, could give some heavier pulses of rain. So if you now have a look at those max temperatures, you can see over the course of the afternoon, widely 18 to 20 degrees, if not getting up towards 21, 22, maybe 23 across the spine of England. That continues through into tomorrow, temperatures not dropping too low overnight, perhaps only to sort of 10, 11 degrees, so a pretty mild night for some. And tomorrow afternoon, once again, we can see those temperatures rise, not quite as warm as today, but still 18 to 20 degrees quite widely, and maybe 21 or 22 degrees in a few isolated spots uh, we see that continue into sunday eastern areas still could be pretty warm 18 19 degrees but just a degree or two down and further west as you go it will turn chillier 
Beyond that, through into Monday, still potentially warm in the far southeast, holding on to that drier, warmer air, but further north and westwards, much cooler air coming in. Not cold, but cooler, getting down towards more towards 10 to 12 degrees and more showery regime. And that continues into Tuesday, could be an isolated frost in a few spots. And by Tuesday afternoon, once again, those temperatures are really held down, perhaps only 14, 15 degrees peaking in some areas in the south. And you can see under showers, could hold temperatures below double digits. You can see in the far east where we have a band of rain, perhaps only 9 or 10 degrees, and we just see that continue into Wednesday. So yeah, it is turning cooler next week. Not going to be cold by any means, it's, it's middle, middle to end of April um, coming up soon. So it's not going to be bitterly cold by any means perhaps on the cool side and more unsettled than it is right now but it won't be an absolute washout by any means so we do have a look at the gfs run see what that is showing again it's very similar to yesterday's run in terms of the northern blocking you can see high pressure over the top of the uk at the moment that low pressure trying to break through by sunday it slowly does and by easter monday into tuesday all areas are under those greener colors indicating lower pressure you can see high pressure does try and build in so it could give some dry weather here or there, but still we've got these sort of cut-off lows developing over Europe, still spiralling showers. It's going to be very unsettled across the Mediterranean into France, Spain, Italy, but for the UK, just showers and more cloud. High pressure does try and build in, and we could see some drier days perhaps there, but this is the longer term, so very uncertain with that. And then you can see right towards the end of the run, northern blocking properly gets going. You see that massive high pressure system up towards Greenland and the Arctic, and you see all this colder air sitting over Scandinavia and northwest Europe, and you see this quite big low pressure system spinning up, and you can see it's not cold in it, cooler than average, definitely. Look at those upper air temperature deviations, definitely looking cooler than average by a couple of degrees, but nothing crazy by any means, just generally, um, yeah, chillier than average. Um, nothing, yeah, as I said, too crazy, but will be showery um, and very unsettled with this. So, yeah, not looking great in the longer term with this northern blocking regime potentially returning. So if you do have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare. Again, high pressure building at the moment um, and holding on at the moment. And then low pressure takes control from Sunday in the west and for all areas, really, um, by Monday and Tuesday. And we continue in this sort of easterly unsettled regime with pulses of lower pressure, little disturbances moving in, giving heavier rain and enhanced shower activity. High pressure is still close by, so we will still see some dry weather here or there. And you can see right towards day 10, high pressure retrogressing towards Greenland and northeast Canada. You see all these blues with northerly winds starting to take hold. Again, as I said, you look at those upper air temperatures, it is very cold over the Arctic, but none of this real cold air will get towards the UK. Perhaps a minus five line for parts of Scotland, so it could see a return to frost for some, and maybe a few wintry showers, but it's not going to be anything crazy. Perhaps... Uh, returning temperatures um, or high temperatures, uh, day day daytime highs toward more like 10 to 12 degrees perhaps. So as I said, not majorly cold, but perhaps turning things cooler than average um, in the longer term with this northern blocking uh, and turning into a showery regime as well. So if we have a look at the East Yemen Efron, see how that does compare. Again, high pressure in control at the moment, low pressure running in off the Atlantic for Monday, Tuesday, turning quite unsettled forward, a little bit of cut off low developing and spiraling those showers in. And right towards day 10, you can see that northern blocking not uh, as, uh, as sort of distinctive as the other runs, uh, not getting quite as far northwards, but still towards northeast Canada and Greenland. And we're seeing this big amplified jet stream with um, low pressure sinking towards the Bay of Biscay and parts of Spain. And you have a look at those upper air temperatures. We actually are trying to pull in a bit of a warmer air mass, but cold air just to our north towards Iceland is never too far away. Um, so although, yeah, perhaps on this eastern blue front, just because the slight orientation of the blocking and the positioning of the cutoff low does start to spiral in southerly winds, um, it would generally still be, though, unsettled. And probably with warmer air feeding into the low pressure system, it would turn things even more unsettled with perhaps bigger showers and thunderstorms potentially so that is something we also do need to keep an eye on so yes it does look generally cooler as you see with the eastern new air front perhaps not definitely cooler could be some warmer days within it with pushes of warmer plumes of air from the south but it does look showery no matter what really over the next couple of weeks so if you do have a look at the ensembles, you can see this well reflected, warm at the moment over the next two or three days. Um, and as we head 
towards sort of 19th, 20th of April, early next week, those temperatures return to around or slightly below average and stay around that for the foreseeable future. Shower activity does increase. No massive precipitation spike, so no massive persistent low pressure system coming in off the Atlantic, but those cut off lows to our south and potentially some more um, organised low pressure systems giving more persistent rain at times. So yeah, shower activity and precipitation spikes are up, but not to a crazy level. Uh, but yeah, just more uncertain than we have now where we have very little precipitation over the next three or four days in the east, that is. And as I said, temperatures stay around average, maybe slightly below average. And look at the sea level pressure, trending much lower, down to around 1,010 millibars, perhaps around the 23rd, 24th of April. Again, not vigorous lows. If we were looking at stormy weather, we'd be looking 980, 990 millibars, well below. And no ensemble members really came down to that level, but it is still lower pressure. If we have a look at the two meter temperature and precipitation, you can see how the temperatures are trending lower. Today is going to be the peak of the temperatures. Still, we could see decent days over the next two days, potentially 20 degrees in a few spots. But generally, by the middle of next week, high uh, returning back towards maybe 13, 14 degrees in a few spots. Uh, maybe a little bit higher on certain days and probably lower on other days. And where we have showers, especially in the north and the west, closer to cooler air masses, could be even lower than that. Highs of only like 10, 12 degrees perhaps, or even cooler over higher ground. And as I said, a precipitation signal increasing as well. So if you also have a look at the Eastern Gulf run, just have a look at their upper air temperatures just to confirm. And you can see very similar, warm over the next few days, perhaps even quite a lot warmer towards Sunday, ahead of that low pressure system. So we need to keep an eye on that, could give some isolated, very warm temperatures in the far southeast, potentially maybe 21, 22, 23 degrees once again by Sunday, Monday. But it will be more isolated than it is today with cooler temperatures further north and westwards before we return to around or slightly below average um, for the foreseeable future. And you can see that ECMF operational run that's going really warm at day 10. As I said, those southeasterly winds, it is an outlier, as you can see. At the top of the ensemble charts, the majority are around or slightly below average with increased precipitation as well, all, at, all the way to the end of April. But as I said, no massive cold runs, no massive warm runs at this stage, just generally around or slightly below average, with more unsettled conditions as we see northern blocking take hold. So make sure you do cherish the next couple of days, especially um, in the east where it's going to be the nicest, and especially today and tomorrow, further northwards and westwards, where we do have um, still warmer conditions before more unsettled conditions come by uh, Sunday. So make sure you go out and enjoy this bank holiday weekend, um, and I hope yeah you get out and, and enjoy the sunshine and the warmth we do have at the moment. As although it's not looking terrible over the next week or two, it is not going to be as great as it is now. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.